Hey, I'm Amy J, and you're listening to Chasing Dreams with Amy J. Hey, Dream Chasers, this is Amy J, as you've heard, no doubt, a few times from the intro and the drop. This is a special episode. It is a solo episode, and if you didn't know, it is episode 237 in December. And, you know, we are now a bi-weekly show, and because it's the kind of the first episode that would air in December, there is no other episode in December. We take a break. I want you to spend it with your family, your friends, relaxing safely indoors, socially distant. Yeah, I said it. So every year um, when we get towards the end of the year, I take a chance to look back at the year and, and talk about it. And, you know, for this year, the theme and episode title is 2020. Am I right? And I didn't, I didn't know what to do with 2020. I wasn't sure what to talk about with 2020 because 2020 came in uh, disrespectfully and is leaving uh, just slightly better than it came in. Just slightly. And that's if you, if you really look deep in it, for it because as of this recording, the numbers are increasing in the U.S., um, I hear other countries are in lockdown for a second time, and it, there's there's no sight of it getting better as of this recording. So yeah, yeah, you got to look deep for the silver lining, which is um, we have a new administration coming in in the U.S. That is a big deal to me, and um, I think and hope that that will um, bring about some change for our future and for us, starting with how we handle the coronavirus pandemic. So that's the now. Let's go back to the beginning of the year, right? Um, We all had grand plans at the beginning of the year. 2020 was going to be it. 2020, new decade, new start, new beginnings. Let's go. No, that's kind of how it turned out, right? Um, People bought planners. People had grand plans to go travel. I did. Uh, People had grand plans to start new things. I did. Um, And people had grand plans to celebrate milestone birthdays. Guilty. None of it panned out. In fact, other things panned out. So um, about February, March, right, our, our lives got kind of flipped upside down. And we were told to stay indoors. Hey, there's a pandemic. If you want to take care of others, if you want to be safe, stay inside and be socially distant. Okay, all right. A few weeks, we can handle that. Let's go. Let's do it. A few weeks turned into months. Months turned into more months. And here we are. And people didn't know what to do with it, right? Because initially... People were downplaying it, saying there wasn't there. Masks became a debatable thing, which is still mind-boggling to me. Um, because, you know, wearing a mask is the least thing you could do to save someone's life. And, frankly, it shouldn't be a debate. It's, it's not political. It shouldn't be political. It's not political. You're just doing it to save someone else's life as well as your own. Either way, I digress. It... It was a crazy time. Many months happened. People didn't know what to do. Companies, corporations, school systems had to pivot. This was the year of the pivot. And it's not necessarily the pivot people wanted to make or have or expect. Unfortunately, hundreds of thousands of people lost jobs. Uh, People were found without homes. Uh, The economy went spiraling. And, you know, throughout all of this, We thought it was a success if we just maintained our sanity. And it was hard. It was hard. You know, um, people need people. As much as some people deny it, people need people. And when you're socially distant, it's hard to do that. Um, I recently played uh, Catan with my cousins, and it was so much fun. And I didn't realize how much I needed time with my cousins uh, or family or friends or just people with one another, you know, interaction. My cousin uh, threw a virtual 
a bingo game with us on occasion. And it, it was so cathartic, right? Playing bingo. Seriously, over Zoom. It was the best. And I needed those moments because people need people. And it's, it's there to remind us that people care. And it's hard because not everybody has that. Not everybody's in the, the situation to have that. And some people are unfortunately locked in with uh, emotionally abusive and physically abusive people. And so it's a tough situation all around the world that we were facing. 2020 is just weird. Things just kept happening. We kept losing uh, iconic individuals just in such a 2020 manner. Kobe Bryant, devastating, right? Um, so, so many others is just not coming to mind, but that one is, is up there with ones that, you know, just... You just don't understand. You're like, what happened? Um, John Lewis, that was another one. You know, uh, RBG, another one. See, I could go down the road of people we've lost. And it's such a 2020 thing. 2020 will just be its own, man, that was so 2020, <laughs> of a descriptor. And it's going to be crazy. And it's going to be crazy. But, you know, for me, and I hope for many of you, um, while you were taking that time to one, just be in the moment, just processing what was happening, trying to figure out how you can handle it. No, you didn't have to do anything. Nobody was expecting that. Nobody should be expecting that. You're just trying to figure out what to do. And that's all I did for the first month or so is just try to figure out how do I operate in this, this new normal that uh, we don't want to be in, that we don't have a choice to be in. How do I operate with that? My day job pivoted. Um, you know, I, I was a podcaster, so I could still podcast. But mentally, how do you podcast? Right? How do you handle that? And we did. We, we kept at it. We, we kept going. But it was tough. Even some of um, my, my podcast producer lost some jobs that she was a part of. She's a freelance contractor. And other people were losing gigs because companies were losing money. Couldn't pay. Therefore, can't take the jobs. And so it was a time the first few months where you're just trying to figure out how do I handle this? How do I maintain my sanity, maintain my normality? And you can't. There is no new normal. There is no normal. There is no going back to normal, unfortunately. It's one of those things where it's a new normal. Things won't ever go back to the way it was before because we've learned things. We've be said things. We've done things. We experienced things that change our perspective and our mindset. And therefore, we can't ever go back because you can't unsee. It's like in the matrix. Once you take the pill, you're done. You can't undo, you can't untake the pill. That's what 2020 kind of was. And so there's no going back to the way things were before, right? Companies who said previously, people can't work from home. You can't work remotely. We don't, we can't support that. Suddenly, everybody's working remotely. It was a way that people were able to make happen. Suddenly, things that couldn't be done, people found a way to do. Priorities were shifted. Sacrifices were made. Industries were closed. You know, um, I, it's crazy. But at some point in that time, for me personally, I had to find a way to figure out what to do. And, you know, for my mom... She and some of you have heard this story, and she's going to be a guest on the show, actually, uh, again, as her persona, Umbany Auntie, in January. I'm very excited about this. She's excited about this, because we're going to share the story. We're going to share the origin story of Umbany Auntie and A Pinch of Kerala, because A Pinch of Kerala spun out and is a creation because of this 2020 pandemic and COVID, and I didn't see that coming. I didn't need another thing on my plate, but the joy she has from doing it, man, guys, let me tell you, that's the kind of joy you want to see on your parents' face. That's the kind of joy you want to see on anyone's face. And so she is passionate about it. My dad is on board. My sister's on board. My brother-in-law on board. Everybody is team of Pincha Kerala. And this is something... A creation, a YouTube channel, a website, a pinchacarola.com that you can now go to and see where she has curated recipes, taught, teaches how to make them, wrote the recipes down, tested it, 
tested it, tested it. Sometimes, guys, there were recipes I just couldn't have anymore. And we've given them to family and friends, socially distant. We would leave it out outside on our door handle for people to pick up. But, like, it was, it was something that sprung out of this sad state of affairs that we were in. And I know not everybody has that kind of a story to share, but I was so happy to be a part of it and see this kind of thing happen and come to fruition because, you know, um, it's, it's a matter of perspective. 2020 has done its best to throw us off, but it's, a, it's so important that we have our perspective about this. We, can, we, can't, ch- we can't change what happens to us. What we can do is control how we respond to it. That's all we can do. And on some days, you got nothing in you. And in some days, you're going all out. Both are okay. Both are fine. Because it's what you, what is best for you. And only you can decide that. Right? So I'm only sharing this because for my mom, for the first month and a half, two months, we didn't know what to do. And then one day, we started. And sometimes it's just the first step. Sometimes it's just the first step that you got to take in order to keep going. And it comes in all different shapes and forms and for different people in different ways. You got to find what that is for you. And I'm telling you, it's not going to necessarily be what it is for someone else. You can be inspired by them, but don't try to duplicate it. Okay, what comes for you is what's pure and and joyful and is going to be awesome to see. But um, what I wanted to say is, you know, um, if nothing else, 2020 has, um, get, has forced us, whether you want it or not, to acknowledge the things you have. And hopefully be grateful for what you have instead of wishing you had other stuff. Because, guys, there are... The, the blessing of, of it is you are here to listen to this podcast episode. You are here on this earth when over a million people around the world have died. And the number is only going up. And so please, 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 if you aren't already, have a spirit of gratitude for what, has, what is in your life and what you have going on. That's so important. That's so, so important, especially now that we're here at the end of the year. We've gone through Thanksgiving. We're coming towards Christmas, and it's a time for reflection. It's very important that you look back and remember and realize, hey, this is what I've had going. This is what worked. This is what didn't. You know, it's tough. You can't control what happens to you, but you can control how you respond to it. Okay, so I want you to take that message with you because for me, let me share what happened with me. Um, thankfully, I did not lose my job. I still have my day job. It's a blessing. I, I love the people I work with. We were able to pivot. I was already working remotely. So good news there. But what I was forced to do um, was take a look at how I was doing things. What was going on? How could I make cuts in my life outside of my day job, in order to maintain sustainability of things. And so I sold all my podcasting equipment. I got uh, a Rode Podcaster Pro a while back, some of you already know. And, you know, but I had that equipment just sitting there in the corner. And so I taught myself how to, uh, not, I knew how to take pictures, but to sell it on uh, Facebook Marketplace, sold them. And, you know, just kind of needed that cash for other stuff and for family stuff. And, you know, that's what we had to do. You know, um, where could I build efficiencies to make things easier? And so evolved and changed our process. Uh, As you can see, if you're looking on YouTube channel, we got it. I have a new look and feel to the studio. This isn't. This is the same place some things have changed. That's all. And so finding the way, pivoting and, you know, and, and, and making those steps were necessary for me to do this very thing that 
I have been avoiding for months. Stepping outside of my comfort zone. Stepping outside of my comfort zone into the world of live streaming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, I am I'm live streaming now. It's crazy. As you're watching this episode, if you're in the month of December 2020, I am participating in a challenge called Vlogmas 2020. Head over to the YouTube channel. Right now, um, as of today, I have less than 100 subscribers. So it's amyj21.com slash YouTube. So that'll take you to the YouTube channel. There you will find a playlist for Vlogmas 2020. We're talking 31 days of self-development to get you ready for 2021. Because while we didn't see 2020 coming, and we may not see everything that's coming in 2021, we will be ready for it this time. We will at least be prepared to handle what comes ahead of us. So if you want to check that out, they're all live stream or, or they're all YouTube videos. I'm not live streaming it, but they're all YouTube videos that will air every day in December. Uh, I think in the morning. I think in the morning. I got to do some an analytics and stuff, so it's not December yet, so I don't know the answer, but it will be coming. 31 days of self-development to help you, your mental health, and in defining your future. Yeah, that's all coming. And what else is coming is a new website, an updated website that I am stoked to reveal uh, towards the end of this year. Might be January 1st, haven't decided, but that's coming also. So these have been working, these have been happening in the background to kind of come up. And, you know, um, I released a Hype Man episode, I think it was in November, November 20 something. Um, anyway, the episode was talking about being intentional with your work. That is something I've been trying to do in this uh, last half of the year. I have been seriously intentional about what I'm trying to do. So from podcasting to live streaming or, or just kind of recording for the YouTube and stuff, and um, also for uh, some new projects coming in 2021, which I'm not going to share yet, but it's coming, and even starting kind of a live stream channel playlist conversation about podcasting because I think a lot of you should be podcasting so be on the YouTube channel hope you're checking that out because there's a lot coming there's a lot happening and I'm excited for it I'm ex I've been about it I've been about about it I I've been enjoying the journey I've been enjoying the process and that is something that um, we don't do enough of a lot of us think because of tradition right um, it's worked in the past. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. We don't challenge it. And the thing is, because we're not doing that, because we're not challenging ourselves, we're not kind of questioning ourselves, we're missing out on things that could make us better, right? Because we're staying this, this thing called the comfort zone. And nothing great happens in the comfort zone. You just kind of meander there. Well, I am coming out of the comfort zone in 2021. Lay the groundwork. We're setting it up for success, and we're just going for it. I don't know how this will turn out in 2021, but I'm having fun. Because things that aren't challenged, you might be missing out. Here's an example. I had a host, and I've been using them for years. Years, I tell you. Years. And a friend was like, hey, why don't you check these people out? I'm like, well, I, I like who I'm working with. They're great people. They're good. Don't worry about it. And he's like, are you sure? I'll show you. And he showed me what I was missing. And I was like, huh. Guys, if I hadn't been open, well, I wasn't really. If he hadn't shown me and then I became open to the idea of change, to the idea of finding a new host, um, I would still be overspending. I would still be missing out on features that my previous host wasn't doing but is now available because of this new opportunity. This is the thing, guys. you got to challenge where you are challenge what you're doing challenge tradition just because it ain't broke doesn't mean you shouldn't fix it is not a good statement it may be true for some things but if it ain't broke you should look into it 
Is there ways that we can make it better? Is there ways that we can do our best, kind of pivot a little bit, right? The theme, the concept, the um, essence of it is still the same, but you're just doing it a little bit differently. Different does not mean bad, okay? So keep that in mind. And I, I really want you to, in this last month, take some time to evaluate and look into your life. Take some time to look at the areas of your life to see if you're happy with how things are going. And if not, ask yourself why and challenge yourself to find a better way because it's never too late. It's never too late. And it, you can do anything you want, guys. It's your life. So don't tell me you can't do it because so-and-so said something or so-and-so says or it's not traditional because of something else. That's irrelevant. All of that is irrelevant. There is a way. You just may not like the way because it might be hard. It might be different. And those things are what's going to make it better. What ha you keep looking at the negative, but what about the positive? All right. So I want you guys to take that. These last few weeks of December, it's tough. I absolutely uh, agree. Um, and I'm not saying make grand changes. You don't have to do that. Right? You don't have to go and change your whole studio or anything like that, your office, or get buy a new place. You don't have to do all, any of that. I'm saying just take an evaluation of your life. Take a look back at what, how things were in 2020. What can you change to make it better in 2021? Okay? And take a listen to my Vlogmas episodes and see if that doesn't help you with um, getting ready for 2021. I, I, I'm biased, of course, but I think it would help. And so you guys will find all of that, some of the notes and links that we mentioned here on the show notes page over at amyj21.com slash episode 237. That's episode 237. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Have a happy holiday, however you celebrate it. Be well, be safe. And remember, till next time, don't stop. Keep chasing. Bye.